Hi, I'm George, and in this Goldfish 12G video, I'm going to warn you about four things in the reef aquarium hobby that can kill you. So the other day, one of my friends was asking me, hey, Coalfish 12G. <laughs> he didn't call me Coalfish 12G. My friends don't call me Coalfish 12G. Can't get them to. He asked, hey, do you have a crew that helps you make all your videos? And I was like, um, no. Guys, my channel is a completely one-man show. I write, film, direct, edit. I do everything. And so this got me thinking. Cause God forbid, but say I'm walking down the street and boom, I get hit by a bus. Coralfish 12G would be over. So I decided to make a video on the top four plausible ways that the reef aquarium hobby could kill me or you. Number one, palytoxin. Zoanthids and palythoas may look like these cute little itsy bitsy buttons of joy that you can trade and collect but yeah, they have the potential to kill you slowly and painfully. All the veterans in the hobby know about this stuff, but all the newcomers pretty much don't. And it's important that they know so they can enjoy the hobby without, well, being poisoned by the second deadliest poison in the world. Seriously, one gram of this stuff can kill over 100 million mice. Okay, so... How do you avoid it? Typically, this stuff comes in the very large size pallies that are ugly, that sit in the back of the fish store that nobody wants. Not so much your designer Fruit Loop and Rasta zoanthids, but just make sure to use goggles and gloves when handling or cutting zoanthids or palythoas. And of course you can frag them, but for the love of God, do not cut them up like a chef from Benihana. Go slowly and make clean cuts away from the actual mouths. Basically, that mucusy stuff that comes out of them is what will get you killed. But hey, zoos are great. Don't be scared. You know how I got these scars? Belly toxic. Number two, electrocution or shock. A serious way you could kill yourself is from an accidental electrocution. Especially for all you do-it-yourselfers who just want to make every little thing on your own. You can thank the Home Depot for when your lights drop into your tank's water because you wanted to make your own light stand. Electricity, salt water, and stray voltage are not best friends. Just be careful about where and how you plug things in and note where your electrical outlets are. Also, use zip ties to tie all your wires together. I've heard some crazy stories about hobbyists tripping and dropping things that have led to some serious electrocutions. Some of those ballasts really do have the power to kill you. Did anyone else see what I did there? Number three, your tank's inhabitants. There are some potential tank inhabitants, such as sharks, eels, mantis shrimp, flax faces, and lionfish that you do have to be precautious about. Take the lionfish, for example. The venom found in the needle-sharp dorsal fin of the lionfish is not exactly deadly, at least not to a very healthy human being. If you do get some venom from the dorsal fin of a lionfish, you are going to be in an immense amount of pain. There is the possibility, though, that someone might have an allergic reaction to the venom, and that would come with some deadly complications. But that does go for all of those tank inhabitants that I showed. Say an eel bites your hand and you get a really bad bacterial infection. Bacterial infections can be very dangerous, and it isn't that far-fetched that you could potentially lose your arm or even your life. And finally, the most deadly, cold-blooded, ruthless killer that the hobby has to offer is your significant other after they find out how much money you just spent on your tank. The saltwater aquarium hobby is an expensive hobby and it is easy to get caught up and lose track of how much money you're spending on your reef aquarium. Seriously, if you just bought a bounce mushroom or set up your first large saltwater tank, I would be pretty scared of your wife, husband, girlfriend, boyfriend, or if you're underage like me, your mom. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you like my Reef Keep and Chill t-shirt, they are available for purchase on my website at coalfish12g.com. I'll put a link in the description below. Also, in the comment section below, let me know what you guys thought about this video, what you thought of my list, and if you think there are any better ways that the Reef Aquarium Hobby could potentially kill you. Thanks for watching, and make sure to be safe out there, alright? George, out.